all right guys welcome back to the channel for today's video we're going to be installing actually the very first modification or i don't even consider it a modification but it's a change to the car we're going to be installing some weather tech lamp guards on the headlights as well as the fog lights down below so just real quick if you're new to the channel my name is ron and this is the 2022 outback wilderness edition that we picked up very recently about three weeks ago uh, this channel is mainly based on my 2018 wrx but obviously we have this new addition to the family. And in case you haven't seen that vlog, I mentioned that I just wanted to do some cosmetic mods here and there. I'm trying to keep it as a daily driver. And so modifications, I wanna to keep to a minimum. My first priority right now is protecting the car. And so what I wanted to do was put on some headlight covers and the fog light covers. And I just didn't wanna risk scratching these up. The car goes in for PPF in a couple weeks and I'm gonna get it ceramic coated as well. And so it's just been a long process Process, you know with wait times and stuff like that and also tints are coming up as well but for now I wanted to get this installed right away these are weather tech lamp guards and the site is a little confusing but I can confirm that this kit does include the fog light covers as well so you get the headlights and the fog light covers in this one kit and this should be a fairly simple install uh, i'm not really a professional when it comes to wrapping stuff like that but i watched a bunch of videos and did some research and it seems pretty doable so i'm going to get this done today what i have here are some basic tools you know you just have a microfiber cloth and it actually includes a squeegee so we'll be using that as well and i did get this from car supplies warehouse uh, pretty solid deal for what you get it's just some tack and slip. Basically this thing removes all the oils and fingerprints and stuff like that from the surface while this one lubricates it so you can squeegee out the water and have a perfect fit. So I'll link this in the description below. I know WeatherTech makes their own tack and slip fluids but they're kind of expensive and you get half of what you get from this uh, company right here. So let's go ahead and start the install. I'm gonna get everything unwrapped and then we'll go from there. And I did want to mention that these are completely optional. This is the same thing as isopropyl alcohol mixed with water. And then this is a mixture of baby oil, water, and um, some other solution in there to help it lubricate. But WeatherTech actually has instructions on the back so you guys can follow along exactly. And it has all the requirements on here. And it even tells you the ratio for the isopropyl alcohol as well as the lubricant right here it says mix one part baby shampoo to three parts water in a spray bottle to create a slip solution so basically i just bought some tack and slip but you guys can read for yourselves right here to make your own all right guys so what i actually did was i did the driver's side headlight and fog light first just to make sure that i'm capable of doing it for the other side and i didn't want to look completely stupid on camera but i'll show you guys exactly what i did but as you can see here it's still a little dirty because i need to clean it off but i was able to get it installed the fog light was super easy just keep in mind you're going to need a smaller squeegee since this the one that's included is not going to fit in this section right here so I had this one laying around, it's just a small one. Or you can use a credit card, but very, very carefully. Right off the bat, I can tell you that this thing doesn't need heat, so which is good. But I'm gonna tell you guys what spots were difficult. Um, I had a hard time with this section right here. As you can see, it kinda protrudes out a little bit. The instructions don't say to use a heat gun, but I think it might be helpful in some situations, but I didn't use it on the entire headlight. So literally, I just kept squeegeeing out the fluid or the liquid and eventually it's stuck on there. They were right about it being stretched out. You can stretch it out this way and that way. So let's get the other side started. I'm gonna show you guys step by step. Okay, so first off, you wanna make sure that there's no dirt or debris or grime or anything uh, on the fog light on the surface itself. Best case scenario is you wash your car beforehand, but for me, I simply just wiped it off and uh, seemed to clean it off a bit. First thing we're gonna do is use the tack spray what it does is it's going to get rid of any wax or any fingerprints or anything like that on the surface so that it's clean and that the film would adhere to it so i'm just going to spray a few sprays on this towel and this was the smallest one i could find at the moment i need to do laundry with some microfiber cloths in it but just spray a couple sprays on there 
and uh, careful not to get it on the surface. But just want to wipe that off, make sure that it's clean. And now it should be ready for the next step. All right, so the next step is we're gonna use this slip right here to lubricate the film and it allows you to move it. Be mindful, so I got the fog lights right here. If you can see that on camera, there's a little template and you're simply gonna be using the middle of it. And there's no film or any protection on the PPF itself, so be mindful of that when you're squeegeeing out the liquid. First thing I'm gonna do is spray the surface itself, and you feel free to use as much as you want. You want it well lubricated, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my fingertips, because you're gonna be grabbing this from the template itself, so make sure there's no fingerprints, and then just go ahead and spray literally everything down like I'm doing. Then I'm gonna peel that off there. Spray that side and just stick it on there. And you'll notice that it's easy to move around. It even falls off on its own if I don't have any pressure on it. So let me get the camera zoomed in. Feel free to spray it on top as well, but we're just gonna be squeegeeing out the water. And again, the one that they provide you doesn't fit in this hole right here. So find a smaller one or use a credit card. But I'm just gonna center that right there. And we're gonna be working from the center out. And you'll notice that it's gonna to start to adhere once the liquid is gone. So this is actually some good stuff. I was actually very surprised at the quality of the WeatherTech. But yeah, it's gonna seem like you're not doing anything, but once you get that water out, it's gonna stick. Okay, so that was pretty much it for the fog light at least. And I squeegeed it out for like five minutes and it's on there pretty good. I'm gonna wipe it down to see if I missed any spots. And just feel free to run your finger across the edges right here. So far I think it's on there pretty good. And again, I was surprised how easy this one was. And that should do it for the fog light. So let's move on to the headlight. You guys, sorry for the background noise. The AC has been running since it's been super hot the last couple days here. But now let's get started on the headlight. I wanted to point out a couple things. So let's go ahead and get this wiped down first. The same steps, tack, spray. And then you just wanna wipe it down gently. And again, same steps, spray down the headlight with the slip. and use as much as you need and spray as necessary, trust me. And then real quickly, what I wanted to point out was that at first I thought WeatherTech sent me the wrong film, but there's actually a cutoff towards the end of it on this side. So there's gonna be a little gap right there that you wanna bring down as close as possible. That's why you see these tails right here. And spray down your fingertips and then start to peel it. And then once you get a little gap in there, go ahead and spray it some more, just so you don't get any fingerprints on there. And careful on this section, because it might tear. So go ahead and start peeling the other tail. Okay. So once you get it off of the backing, go ahead and spray the entire thing. Sorry, you guys can't see, but just spray the entire thing down. And I'm spraying it until water runs off of it. Now comes the fun part, laying it on my palm like so. And then carefully just sticking it on there. Just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect the first time. Just want to make sure you get it on there before you make any adjustments or anything like that. Spray some more. First thing you want to do is to make sure it's lined up. I'm using the edges as my guide, so it doesn't have to be perfectly on there. I just want to make sure that most of the surface is covered. And then if you guys can see on this section right here, it gets kind of bubbly, but we'll take care of that later. And it's this uh, ledge right here that's kind of hard to target, but we'll, like I said, we'll get through all that. You just want to make sure it's lined up. 
best as you can. And then basically just squeegee out the fluids from the center out. And then you'll feel it start to adhere. But you just wanna keep, keep on squeegeeing it out. Okay, so I got the placement on this half of it where I want it to be for now. You'll notice that this section right here gets kind of bubbly and uh, there's a lot of leftover material. That's totally fine. All you have to do is put your hand here and then pull it from the corners and then squeegee out the liquid this way away from the center. And then you'll notice that it starts to stick. So don't get discouraged when you get to this part right here. Trust me, you don't need a heat gun. It'll all work out. And here's what I'm talking about. You can see right here that the film just kind of bubbles. And this right here needs to be pushed down. But like I said, once you get the squeegeeing done from the center, as soon as you squeegee the top, it's gonna keep on popping up, but once it dries up and there's no more fluid or liquid behind it, it's gonna stick. And then if we move on on this section, you can see the gap right there. And what I did on the other side was I just brought it up as close as I could so that it meets, not touching, but just so it meets. And then right here, I'm trying to line it up on the actual headlight itself on the edge. I'll keep on squeegeeing and then I'll show you guys the results. All right guys, so I finally finished wrapping the headlights and the fog lights. Again, I pointed out some of the tough spots that you kind of have to be patient with. The first one was this section right here where the sea light is, just because that is protruding about a quarter inch out. So make sure you have enough slack or this stuff is very stretchy, so feel free to stretch it out that way down so that it uh, it's fully covered. And then the other tricky section for this side at least was this corner Right here, I couldn't get it to stick, but after squeegeeing the hell out of it, it finally stuck. This section is pretty tough as well, just because of the shape of it and it's curved. So you kind of have to make sure that this bottom part right here doesn't overlap and touch the paint. So it took me a few tries to line it up, but overall, like I mentioned, it, it's not too bad. The fog lights were super easy. That's why I'm not spending a lot of time talking about them. But yeah, they're very simple. Just flat surface, stick it on there and squeegee out. It was the headlights that were tricky. So yeah, just a lot of patience and a lot of squeegeeing and you should be good. And again, I didn't use heat or anything. It adhered on its own with the help of the tack and then the slip right here. So I'll link that in the description so you guys can check it out. With that stuff, you don't have to make your own solution, which is super convenient. Did notice a spot right here. It's a bubble spot. I'm just hoping it goes away with the sun. So I guess the last thing would be to flick the lights on to see how they look. I'm just hoping there's no debris in front of it and that I squeegeed most of it out. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So just a couple spots, but overall not bad. And this side right here, this bubble that I was talking about is kind of magnified under the glass. If you can see right there where my index finger is. Now I guess you can't tell right there, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, so we just completed the install. Again, the product is the WeatherTech Lamp Guard. I'll link it in the description as well so you guys can check it out for yourselves. I think it's some good quality stuff. You can feel the film. It's not flimsy or anything, and I think it'll do a great job protecting the headlights and the fog lights for a very long time. But yes, I guess that was the very first modification, sticker, whatever you wanna call it, we did to the car. But I am gonna go ahead and close this one out. If you guys have any questions about the product or the installation process, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.